part three of the acarnians by aristophanes translated by charles james bilson eighteen fifty eight to nineteen thirty two this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine part three chorus the fellow hit a lucky chance see how his plan's progressing he'll reap a glorious crop of wealth and fame and every blessing yes in the market-place he'll stay and if a catesia steps that way or any other spy comes prowling he'll sit down howling and no one else in purchasing provisions shall bamboozle you cleonymus shan't jostle you nor filthy preface tousle you a cloak you'll wear of virgin white no sycophant has brought to light nor shall hyperbolus provoke you with suits to choke you nor shall cretinus hop to you his morning jest to bandy smooth-shaven with a single shear like any gay young dandy that busy trifler with the muse that knave in artimonian shoes from whose rank armpits you may gather what goats his father pausen no more be scoffin nor lysistratus importunate that shame of the colargians that double-dyed unfortunate who begs and shivers every day and every month is starved they say for all the thirty days and dirtied for more than thirty enter a boeotian and boy followed by many pipers playing boeotian begora it's right shoulder galled i was put down the penny royal is menius nately now nately and those pipers round you that followed us from thebes enter dicaeopolis dicaeopolis stop stop confound you you buzzing wasp be off go to perdition was charis then your bumble-pipe musician exeunt pipers boeotian now fax your honour i'm obliged to ye it's all the way from thebes they followed me puffin and blowin all my blossoms down now if you please buy what i brought to town i've got young chicks and every four-winged creature dicaeopolis well met my little pumpernickel eater how do you do my tight little boeotian what do you have brought us with all this commotion boeotian the very best entirely you could find in old boeotia meats of every kind wicks pennyroyal woodcocks jackdaws ducks divers and water hens and hazel chucks dicaeopolis you're like a winter gale man bringing fowls to market in such flights boeotian vex and i've owls beavers geese hares moles foxes cats hedgehogs otters and weasels eels from copes bogs dicaeopolis oh food to mortal man the best and fairest let me address the eels if such thou bearest boeotian first-born of fifty virgins copeids turn out to please his honour when he bids dicaeopolis o oh, maiden of my love o oh, pine for long thou art welcome to the lords of comic song beloved of Moricus, be quick ye fellows bring me out here the gridiron and the bellows behold her swains the loveliest eel and best after six years she seeks the yearning breast speak to her children i'll supply the charcoal all for the potence of her sweet eyes sparkle now bring her in o oh, me not death's oppressing rob me of thee well stewed with beetroot dressing boeotian but how will i be paid for it your honour dicaeopolis oh as a market toll will look upon her but will you sell me something else as well eh what do you say boeotian there's nothing i won't sell dicaeopolis come now how much do you want for all the pack or will you take another cargo back boeotian just what you got here and we go without dicaeopolis ah then you'll buy falerian sprats no doubt or crockery boeotian what is it sprats or crockery we've got them both at home nay no such mockery i'll take what's common here and what we want dicaeopolis i have it bring him out a sycophant and pack him up like crockery ware boeotian that's it by all the saints it's a good sum i'd get showing him as a tricksy queer baboon dicaeopolis here comes nicarchus who'll denounce you soon boeotian it's small he is dicaeopolis but every inch is bad enter nicarchus an informer nicarchus whose wares are these boeotian sure in their mind bedad from thebes nicarchus then i denounce them every one as goods of the enemy boeotian what have they done the tiny birds to make you storm and clatter nicarchus 
and i'll denounce you too the ocean why what's the matter nicarchus i'll tell you that the audience may know you've got a wick from the enemy in tow dicaeopolis and so you're bringing now a wick to light nicarchus yes it might burn the dockyard down it might dicaeopolis a wick a dockyard nicarchus yes dicaeopolis but in what manner nicarchus it might be stuck by some boeotian planner looking hard at the boeotian upon a kind of beetle set alight and sent into the dockyard some dark night in a high wind up through a water drain and then the fire would catch the ships it's plain and they'd all blaze at once dicaeopolis belaboring him they'd blaze at once all through a beetle and a wick you dunce nicarchus i call you all to witness dicaeopolis gag him gag him give me some straw to stuff him in and bag him like crockery that he mayn't break as we drag him chorus now pack his purchase up my man as tight and firmly as you can safe to make it lest on the way he break it dicaeopolis i'll see to that he rings just like beating him a fire-cracked vessel when you strike jarring direly an utter scamp entirely chorus but what use will he be to him dicaeopolis a jar to suit his every whim a bowl of abuses a mortar of actions a lamp to throw light on official transactions a poisonous cup made to stir up plots and seditions and troublesome factions chorus how could you trust a jar like this that always gives so false a token dicaeopolis its strength my friend is not amiss hold the head down it can't be broken chorus to boeotian now you're well off my hearty boeotian i'll join a reaping party chorus ay reap em down my jolly clown and use em well in field and town for all you want the perfect sycophant dicaeopolis to audience i had hard work to pack that scoundrel there to boeotian here my boeotian take your crockery ware boeotian to boy come get your shoulder under him gossoon dicaeopolis be very careful how you hold the loon he's a very rotten burden anyway but still be careful if you get good pay and make some money by your importation you'll get some good out of an information exit boeotian and boy enter lamachus's slave slave ho oh, dicaeopolis dicaeopolis well why do you shout slave why lamachus desires you'll send him out some thrushes for this drachma here d'ye see and a copaic eel for the other three dicaeopolis an eel for lamachus what lamachus slave the dauntless one the bull-hide valorous who wields the gorgon shield and waves above three overshadowing plumes dicaeopolis nay then by jove if he'd give me a shield he shouldn't have the dish let him wag his plumes over some salted fish if he makes any outcry or resistance i'll call the market stewards to my assistance exit slave now for my part i shall take up this load and go back singing to my own abode sings quails and blackbirds fluttering spread purple pinions o'er my head exit dicaeopolis chorus strophe thou hast seen him o my city thou hast seen the master mind so far-sighted wise and witty he alone a truce has signed he alone at peace with sparta fearlessly can buy and barter merchandise of every kind every blessing every grace flows upon his favoured race all the thrifty wife would choose for her daily household use every dainty steaming dish that the starving soul could wish never more will i admit war beside my hearth to sit never at my board shall he troll harmodius's glee drunken fiend whose rebel riot burst upon our happy quiet spoiling ruining destroying blessings we were all enjoying frenzied insolent marauder none could win him back to order though one spoke him soft and fair prithee take a seat good sir taste his loving cup my friend drink and let all quarrels end still his wrath but raged the higher till he set our poles on fire till at last a blacker treason seized him and he drew our wine stored in bottles for the season from its skins upon the vine antistrophe he departing in his glory goes the banquet to prepare proudly see he cast before ye tokens of his festal fare 
see displayed before his dwelling all those feathers surely telling of the princely dainties there come thou nymph of joke and mean playmate of the cyprian queen lovely peace whom none can ever from the laughing graces sever wherefore didst thou hide from sight thy celestial visage bright would some cupid sly would tether you and me dear love together all with twisted braids of roses and a hundred different posies like that winged boy divine limbed in aphrodite's shrine though perchance thou deemest me all too old a groom for thee three things i will do beside when i bring thee home a bride first i shall draw out in order rows of vines and round the border set some fig trees tender shoots and the slips of wild wood roots then i'll plant in ordered rows olives round our orchard close this i think to do though laden with a weight of years that we may anoint us both dear maiden when the new-faced moon we see enter dicaeopolis herald slaves etc herald hear all ye people as our sires ordained at trumpet call the gallon shall be drained the man who drains his gallon first to own the drinking prize the skin of ctesiphon dicaeopolis lads women don't ye hear what are ye doing didn't ye hear the herald to your stewing roast turn weave chaplets and take off that hair bring me the spits to spit those thrushes there chorus i envy your design so wise still more the feast you're making dicaeopolis and what then when you cast your eyes upon these thrushes baking chorus there too you're right completely dicaeopolis come give the fire a poking chorus you see how very neatly how dinner-like and featly he manages his cooking enter a countryman countryman oh dear oh dear dicaeopolis good lord who's that just come countryman a miserable man dicaeopolis then go back home countryman kind sir there's no one has a piece but you measure me out at least a five-year brew dicaeopolis what's come to you countryman i've lost my beasts and all dicaeopolis how countryman the boeotians stole them from their stall at phile dicaeopolis that's a blow that must have smarted but why aren't you in black for the departed countryman ay though they always kept me well i vow in good manure dicaeopolis well what do you want now countryman i wept my eyes out for them beasts of mine oh if your kind heart does at all incline to durkates of phile then i pray anoint my eyes with peace without delay dicaeopolis i'm not the parish doctor my poor chap countryman come come i pray you do for then mayhap i shall get back my oxen dicaeopolis oh dear no go and lament to pitiless and co countryman only a drop of peace just squeeze me one into this little tube dicaeopolis i'll give you none not a bird's whistle off now with your tears countryman oh dear oh dear my poor dear farming steers exit countryman chorus our friend seems to find the peace to his mind and to share it with any he seems disinclined dicaeopolis pour honey there over the tripe in that dish and mind how you're frying those fine cuttlefish chorus do you hear what a bellow dicaeopolis the eels broil them there chorus stop stop my dear fellow you'll kill us i swear i've hunger i'm dying and the folk who live near with the smell of good cheer and the noise of your crying enter a bridesman and bridesmaid dicaeopolis now then roast this and brown it well with care bridesman ho dicaeopolis dicaeopolis who's there who's there bridesman a bridegroom sends you from the wedding feast this dish of meat dicaeopolis that's very kind at least whoever he is bridesman and he desires you too to pour out in return for this same stew one cup of peace into this alabaster to keep him safe from service and disaster dicaeopolis there take your meat away don't give me any i wouldn't do it for a pretty penny but who's this girl turning to the bridesmaid bridesman the bridesmaid she comes here sent by the bride to gain your private ear dicaeopolis to bridesmaid come then my dear what is it 
the bridesmaid whispers to him well i'm blessed what a ridiculous absurd request she wants to keep her husband safe at home well bring the truces i must give her some since she's a woman and unfit for war so girl just reach me here that ointment jar and tell the bride when e'er they raise recruits to drop some grease into her husband's boots exit bridesman and bridesmaid take back the truces bring that filter of mine that i may fill the gallons up with wine chorus lo here comes one with lifted brows and pale speeding like one that bears a woeful tale enter a messenger messenger o oh, general grief and grievous generals enter lamachus lamachus what voice re-echoes round the brass-girt halls messenger the generals bid you hasten in full feather to guard the passes in this snowy weather they've heard that the boeotians will attack us while we are busy with the feast of bacchus lamachus o oh, generals were your wisdom as your numbers isn't it hard to rob me of my slumbers like this and drag me from the feast Linnaean? Dicaeopolis. Ho! Armament duello Lamachaean. Lamarcus. Oh dear! And now thou art mocking me with jests. Dicaeopolis. Wouldst thou strive with Gurion's four crests? Lamachus. Out, out, alas! Ah, what a message did the herald bear me? Dicaeopolis. Ha! With what message does this herald near me? enter messenger messenger ho oh, dicaeopolis dicaeopolis well well what is it messenger the priest of dionysus hopes you'll visit the feast at once with box and gallon too quick raise the dust the dinner's stayed for you this long time all the things are ready benches footstools and tables cushions chaplets wenches dried fruits and comfits honey cakes and myrrh sesame puddings broad cakes all are there be quick make haste exit messenger lamachus oh dear my evil fate dicaeopolis why yes you trust to the protectorate of a big gorgon shut the door you sinner and let somebody be preparing dinner lamachus ho oh, boy there bring me out my haversack dicaeopolis ho oh, boy there bring me out my box to pack lamachus some salted thyme and onions boy be quick dicaeopolis some fish for me boy onions make me sick lamachus boy bring me out a mess of rotten fish dicaeopolis and me a mess too for a savoury dish lamachus bring me the feather which my helmet brushes dicaeopolis bring me the pigeons and the little thrushes lamachus how fair and white is this tall ostrich crest dicaeopolis how fair and brown is this roast pigeon's breast lamachus sirrah forbear to mock my martial arms dicaeopolis sirrah forbear to eye my thrush's charms lamachus bring out the hair trunk where my crest reposes dicaeopolis bring out the hair stew that delights our noses lamachus this moth was eating up my tufts so shining dicaeopolis this mouth is eating hair soup before dining lamachus don't worry me sir with your conversation dicaeopolis no but this boy and i've a disputation to boy now will you bet let the decision rest with lamachus if locusts be the best or thrushes lamachus bah you're insolent dicaeopolis you hear it he said that locusts had the greater merit lamachus ho oh, boy take down and bring me out my spear dicaeopolis ho oh, boy take off the tripe and bring it here lamachus come i will draw my lance from forth its cover to boy stand fast and pull dicaeopolis and you boy pull this over lamachus bring me the stand that holds my staff of strife dicaeopolis bring me the bread out lad my staff of life lamachus bring me the oval gorgon compass shield dicaeopolis and me the pancakes cheese and compass field lamachus this insolence is broad i'll none of it dicaeopolis this broad cake's good i'll have another bit lamachus boy pour the oil out in this bronze i see an old man being tried for treachery dicaeopolis pour out the honey here's an old man's face who curses lamachus's gorgon race lamachus bring me my breastplate boy my aid in war dicaeopolis bring me my breastplate boy my gallon jar 
lamachus herewith i'll arm myself the foe to rout dicaeopolis herewith i'll arm me for a drinking bout lamachus boy strap my bedding to the shield this minute dicaeopolis boy strap the meat-box with my dinner in it lamachus give me the knapsack on my back i'll bear it dicaeopolis give me the cloak upon my way i'll wear it lamachus take up the shield boy and we'll quit this folly it's snowing ugh things look most melancholy exit dicaeopolis take up the dinner things look very jolly exit chorus see the twain to battle sped but what diverse ways they tread one will sit and feast all night with a wreath of roses dight drinking hard while the other sits and shivers with a thousand quakes and quivers keeping guard strophe may that scion of slobber that quill driving jobber antimachus scribbler of verse without reservation or equivocation be damned with the thunderer's curse for when president orus as head of the chorus on bacchus's festival day the miserly beast shut me out from the feast and sent me quite famished away may i see him half dying for cuttlefish frying when bubbling and hissing and nice with salt ready stored it hangs over the board and lands on his plate in a trice then just ere he slips the first slice in his lips may a little dog steal through the door make a snatch at the dish run away with the fish and never be found any more antistrophe one plague we have reckoned and now may a second befall him as well in the night going home from a ride with a pain in his side and a feverish pitiful plight ere he reaches abode may some knight of the road of wassail and insolence full orestes pursued by the furies intrude upon him and batter his skull in a terrible taking while cup purse is breaking his head may he look all around and grope in the dark very wide of the mark to pick up a stone from the ground and finding at last a missile to cast no matter what not what he seeks take aim as he can and missing his man bespatter cratinus's cheeks enter a messenger messenger ye slaves that dwell in lamachus mansion water heat water in a little pension make ready linen greased wool and plaster to bandage up the ankle of your master the man was wounded leaping o'er a trench upon a treacherous stake the backward wrench unhinged his ankle and with awful shock he burst his head flat fallen upon a rock started the gorgon from her case of leather and down the cliff was hurled the boaster's feather loud rang the death cry of the hapless wight farewell great orb i leave thy glorious light to see it never more i die a martyr so spake and straightway fell into the water rose up and found some base deserters near and routed all the robbers with his spear but throw the doors apart for he is here enter lamachus wounded supported by two slaves lamachus woe woe unutterable woe oh icy pang oh dear alack i go to realms below from wound of foeman's spear but twere indeed a grievous shock if dicaeopolis should see me wounded here and mock such woeful fate as this enter dicaeopolis drunk supported by two dancing girls dicaeopolis ho ho unutterable bliss my golden chicks i thirst for one soft kiss what joy is this i've drunk the gallon first lamachus o oh, wretched state o oh, woeful fate alack 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 my horrid wounds would shock ye dicaeopolis lo lamachus come back how do my little jockey lamachus foul hate is mine dicaeopolis i've no repose lamachus don't kiss me swine dicaeopolis don't bite my nose lamachus oh dear what damages that charge was heavy dicaeopolis what charge to-day could anybody levy lamachus apollo healer unto thee i call dicaeopolis it isn't now the healer's festival lamachus convey me instant on a healing mission to pitilus the eminent physician dicaeopolis and bear me away to the judges i pray is the king within then give me the skin lamachus a cruel spear has pierced my bones in horrid gruesome fray dicaeopolis there look at that i've emptied it hurrah i've won the day chorus 
sing ho sing ho the conqueror you bid us all sing hallo dicaeopolis yes and i filled one full of wine and drank it at a swallow chorus bravo hurrah my noble heart the skin is yours hooray dicaeopolis then follow me and sing hurrah bravo he's won the day chorus we'll fill your train as you go in and cheer again you and your skin with a hearty strain he's won the day with a hip 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 hooray end of part three recording by expatriate in bangor maine end of the acarnians by aristophanes translated by charles james bilson eighteen fifty eight to nineteen thirty two